In today's video, we're going to be reviewing, customizing, as well as putting the new Buffalo EVX through some other tests. So welcome back to TM and the Blue Cop. And now that we are at the auto shop, let's get on ahead with the customization of the EVX. But first things first, let's get all the performance upgrades first. Moving on to the cosmetics and for the bodywork, we're going to go with the bolted white arches. Moving on to the bumpers, front bumpers, and we're going to go with the carbon flat splitter. For the rear bumpers, we're going to go with a race diffuser. And for the hoods, we're going to go with the street vent hood. For louvers, we're going to go with the carbon louver alt. And for the mirrors, we're going to take the carbon stock mirror. For the roll cages, we're going to get the padded with high track seats. And for the roofs, we're going to go with a single fin. And now on to the skirts and we're going to take the secondary extended skirt. And for the spoilers, we're going to take the large ducktail spoiler. And now on to respray and we're going to go with a lime green color. And for the livery, we're going to go with the black stripes. Moving on to the wheels and we're going to go with the super turbine wheels. For the wheel color, we're going to go with black and of course we're going to get bulletproof tires. For the neon layout, we're going to go with front, back and sides. And for the color, we're going to go with the lime green color. And then lastly for tints, we're going to go with the limo tint. And well guys, I guess with that we're done with the customization of the EVX and I'll see you guys outside. Well guys, this car does not sound like anything because it's electric, so yeah, let's just see how it looks. And now on to the review and starting off with the acceleration. And honestly guys, I was hoping that the acceleration was going to be bonkers. But in fact, it was very disappointing. There is literally zero punch off the line when launching this car, except if you're going to do the wheelie launch. But honestly, apart from that, the acceleration is very lackluster. Of course, it does improve in the mid-range of the car, but apart from that, I'd say that it is a bit of a letdown. Especially because it is a muscle car. A muscle electric car to be exact. So yeah guys, when it comes to acceleration, I'll give it a decent score. And now on to the top speed. And honestly, the top speed is, well, not that great either because it is an electric car. It is not the slowest electric car in the game, but at the same time, it is not the fastest. But all I can say is that it is enough for free roam. Anyways guys, since it is an electric car, you guys already know that the top speed is not really going to be that great of a hit. So yeah guys, when it comes to the top speed again, I'll give it a decent score. And now on to the handling and the handling is again a bit of a mixed bag of crisps. The car has both understeer and oversteer, which is honestly not that great. But apart from that, it does hold the line and grip up very well. Anyways, talking about the understeer, the understeer is only really noticeable in free roam, but in racing, it is not that noticeable. And the overseer, well, it is not that noticeable in free roam, but very noticeable in racing because while going through corners at high speeds, the back does tend to slip out a bit. But honestly, it is very easy to control, so yeah, not really going to complain that much on the handling front. So again, when it comes to the handling, I'll give it a bit of a decent to above average score. And now moving on to the special features of the Buffalo EVX. So the Buffalo EVX is an armored Imani tech vehicle, which basically means it is an armored vehicle which has the ability to equip Imani tech such as a missile lock on jammer which basically stops other people from locking onto you with a missile launcher or any type of rocket which uses homing technology. So yeah guys, when it comes to that, honestly amazing. And another trick up its sleeves is that it has slick mines. And well guys, what slick mines do is basically, well, whoever is following you and if they step on that slick mine, they're going to go flying around a lot. And if they're stationary, well, good luck getting out of the slick mine puddle. So yeah guys, special features, pretty awesome. And now on to the conclusion and as well as the track test and what can I say guys, the Buffalo EVX. I have no words to say about this car honestly, I really do not like it. I hate the fact that it's a muscle electric car and yeah, that, that just pisses me off, I don't know why. Anyways, the car is pretty decent, it's not really the best performer, not really the worst, it's just middle of the ground. Because the performance is just average at best. Anyways, at the same time, it does cost $2.1 million, which is a lot of money. And I feel like you can get a better deal if you went for the Buffalo STX instead. But nonetheless, it is a new car and yeah, it has Imani tech and at the same time, it is an armored car. So yeah, pretty good on that front. But otherwise, a pretty lackluster meh car if I do say so myself. 
and yeah guys i won't really recommend the car to you because it's not really that great of a car so yeah anyways moving on to the track test after a few multiple attempts i have gotten a best time of 3 minutes and 12 seconds which is honestly pretty decent and now on to the drag race and basically what we do here is just that we race in a straight line and again guys after a few multiple attempts i have gotten a best time of 32.1 seconds which is honestly pretty average so yeah guys i have nothing more to say about this car not really a fan of it and yeah that is honestly about it anyways guys with that we come to the end of the video leave a like leave a comment down in the comment section subscribe and of course do share if possible it will really help me out a ton and yes don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time i drop a new video and well guys with that tm and blue cop signing out